Hello, my creative and spooky friends. In today's video, I'll be recreating some of the most viral ghost-themed Halloween DIYs from this year. There were so many good ones, but I narrowed it down to three that I felt were aesthetic, easy to make, and budget-friendly. Let's get into it. I'm really excited to try these viral lit ghosts that I first saw Macy Blackwell do on TikTok. I'm not sure who the original creator is, but Macy's videos seem to have made this become very popular, especially since it's also a Pottery Barn dupe. This set of two lit ghosts from Pottery Barn is unavailable now, but it did sell for $99 up until recently. These can be made super easily and for not very much money at all, so let's grab the supplies. We'll need some black felt for the eyes, which I got from Hobby Lobby for 99 cents. Also from Hobby Lobby, I grabbed this styrofoam head, which was a bit too small, but that's the biggest one they had at the time. And I grabbed this 42 inch tomato cage from Lowe's for $5. You'll also need a strand of Christmas lights and a sheet of white fabric. The first thing we'll do is wrap the lights around the cage. I weaved mine in and out of each tier of the cage so that it's very secure. Next, it's time to put its tiny head on. <laughs> Hopefully you're able to find a bigger styrofoam ball, but if you can't, yours will just have a tiny ghost head like mine does, which is totally fine because all ghosts are different. I thrifted this white sheet from Goodwill for $2. I'm draping it over the tomato cage and adjusting it until I'm happy with how it's laying. I love thrifting fabric because it's so much cheaper than buying it from the craft store. I'm cutting off the hem of the sheet so that it doesn't actually look like a sheet, and also because I think the frayed edges of the fabric just makes more sense for a ghost. I'm cutting it around the bottom to make the edges a bit uneven so it looks very disheveled. Now for the eyes. I'm cutting them out of black felt. You can go round, oval, asymmetrical here. You can even add a mouth if you'd like. Depending on how permanent you want them to be, you can hot glue or duct tape the eyes on. This is our first year in a house that will actually get trick-or-treaters, so I'm putting my ghost on our front porch. If you'd like to see how I DIY this awesome checkered pumpkin, check out the link in the description below. This DIY was so fun and easy, and it really looks amazing at night. Next, I'm trying this adorable ghost garland that I saw Ashley from Woodlark Blog do on TikTok. For supplies, you'll need some sort of white fabric. Ashley used cheesecloth, but you can use a bed sheet or an old t-shirt. I'm using some chiffon that I had left over from another craft. I thought this chiffon worked nice because it's sheer and when cut, it frays on the edges, which I think works really well for a ghost. I'll be using napkins to stuff it, but cotton balls, wool, toilet paper, or fabric will also work. You'll also need some string, a large sewing needle, a ruler, and some scissors. We'll need to cut the fabric into squares. The size of the squares will determine how big your ghost will be. I'm cutting mine into 8x8s. I had enough fabric to make seven ghosts, so now I'm going to make their heads by simply balling up a napkin and trying to make it as round as I can. Mm -hmm. 
Now that I have the heads made, I can start putting my ghosts together. You'll place the napkin ball into the center of the fabric square and then pull up each corner, holding them above center. Then pinch it below the napkin to create the ghost shape and grab a small piece of string to tie it there. Just repeat this process until all your ghosts are complete. These little wispy ghosts are just the cutest, so now we're going to turn them into a garland. Grab your needle and tie the string onto it. Then just run the needle through each ghost's head. That sounds morbid, but I guess it fits with the Halloween theme. A side note here is that you can totally add a face to your ghost if you want to. You can use a permanent marker or glue on some black felt to make the face. I'm using a clear thumbtack to hang them on my mantle. Once they're hung, I space them apart evenly, and now I have some adorable wispy ghosts for my living room. I can't wait to have this adorable ghost pillow on my couch. I originally saw this on Charlene's TikTok, All Style Life. I'm heading to Hobby Lobby to grab a basic pillow cover for only $4. I love that you can choose any color your heart desires, so I decided to go with black so my ghosts really pop. For the ghosts, you'll need some white macrame cord. This one is $4.99. However, I have some thick yarn at home that I plan to use instead since I had it on hand. I got a sheet of felt from Hobby Lobby for just 99 cents, which we'll use for the eyes. First, decide how many ghosts you want. I'm doing eight. Then we're going to cut our yarn strips. I'm gauging the length of the longest yarn based on how big I want my ghost to be. Once I choose that length, I'm cutting up five more strands, each getting gradually smaller. These six strands will make up one ghost. So cut enough strands of each length to make your desired number of ghosts. I recommend ironing your pillowcase if it has those fold lines in it because it will be way easier to glue the ghost on a flat surface. I also recommend figuring out the spacing of your ghost before you start gluing. I'm starting with the middle yarn and going outward, but I've seen some people start with the outer yarn and work inward. As you go, you'll find a method that works best for you.
And it simply just repeats this process until you've made all of your ghosts. I'm going to be honest, in all of the TikToks, this looked like a super quick DIY, but it took me longer than I thought it would. In hindsight, if I had a glue that had a pointed tip rather than me using a toothpick to spread it on, I think that would have saved some time. But it's still super easy and you do get faster with each ghost, so I would definitely do this DIY again. For the eyes, I decided to work smarter, not harder, so I'm using a hole puncher to punch the eyes out of the black felt. And then I'm gluing the eyes to each ghost using the same glue that I used for the yarn. To clean it up a little, I'm using some scissors to trim each ghost so the bottom is even. This yarn got lint everywhere, so I'm lint rolling it. And now it's time to put in the insert. My cover is a size 18 by 18, but I'm inserting a pillow that's 20 by 20. So my tip for you here is to always remember to size up your insert if you want it to have a full and fluffy look. I style this on my couch and I love the touch of spooky cute it adds to my living room. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more spooky Halloween content coming your way soon. I'll see you next time.